What's up, YouTube? Just want to give you a little update. Uh, going back to when I got off third shift over a year ago, I spent the first semester following that, uh, losing the weight I had gained. Uh, that was my first experience losing weight, and I'll be honest, I didn't do it very well. I lost a lot of strength along with the weight. So then I spent the next semester in the spring uh, trying to gain my strength back. I did get it back, but I uh, leveled out pretty much where it always levels out at a max squat of about 345. Then this summer, this past summer, I figured out that I had been using a kind of a faulty squat technique. I was using a power lifter style where the hips are pushed back, but I was using a narrow stance and a high bar placement like an Olympic lifter. Uh, that combination of factors just doesn't really allow for a high strength level to be reached. So I fixed that, but it took a long time to get comfortable with the new squat style. So now I'm making yet another run at getting stronger with the new squat style. What it comes down to is I've had roughly the same strength level for over three years now. I haven't jumped higher in that time because I haven't gotten any stronger in that time. And I actually weigh a little bit more now than when I was a skinny little 20 year old. Now my power is still fine and I'm still jumping fine. I'm probably about 42 inches on some days but I don't have anything new to show you so that's why I'm not uh, putting out dunk videos each week and stuff like that. Then we have Chris. Chris is in his sixth semester of training now. His first three were successful. He hit a 40 inch vert the following summer but the last two semesters have not been successful. Now there's a few things I believe have caused that. One, he's only 5'5 and he hit a 40 inch vertical He's jumped over 60% of his height. It's really hard to keep improving once you're at that high of a level. Also, Chris was using the same questionable squat style I was, and I think that he kind of hit the limit of how strong he could get with that style. Another thing, Chris only trains when he's up at school. Uh, he takes summer and winter breaks pretty much completely off. He detrains a lot during those times, so when he comes back, it, it takes a long time to get back into things. Uh, you know, the semester's only 14 weeks long, and we probably spend the first half just trying to get back uh, in the strength and power departments, get back to where he was at the end of his last training session. And then another big thing is Chris deals with shin splints when he does high-intensity plyos. He's at a point where the force he's generating seems to just be a little bit too much for his lower legs to handle. Now he's done all kinds of lower leg training, but bottom line shin splints are just really hard to deal with. So the last couple semesters, that problem has really limited what we can do for plyos, which interferes in the process of translating strength into jumping ability. So right now, we've got Chris's technique on his squats pretty much fixed. He hit a PR here of 295 pounds. His power is also good. Here he is hang power snatching 70 kilos. Now, is that power going to transfer over into a higher than a 40-inch vertical? That's the million-dollar question.